So, the Los Angeles Clippers are going to wear throwback jerseys in the Buffalo Braves this year. Pretty cool, right? Uh -huh. Same as the uniform guy. But it also uncovers a little piece of NBA history that the league probably isn't very proud of. The Buffalo Braves existed as the original Los Angeles Clippers from 1970 to 1978. They played eight seasons. Within four, they were actually very good. They had some great players there. Guys like Bob McAdoo, Randy Smith, Moses Malone played for that team. Dr. Jack Ramsey coached it. They were in the playoffs. They were good. League attendance was about average. Buffalo was right there. They were turning a profit. And then it all caved in. Back at that time in the 70s, the Boston Celtics weren't a very good team. They were owned by a guy named Irv Levin, and the Celtics not playing well. He wanted to move that team to California. Well, that's not going to fly because the NBA, this is one of the franchise cornerstones of Celtics. The Buffalo Braves were not. So the NBA stepped in and helped engineer a swap of the franchises, the Celtics for the Braves. The Boston owner became the Buffalo owner. The Buffalo owner became the Boston over owner. Irv Levin took over the Braves, sold off all the players, lost games in bunches. Ramsey quit, and they got season ticket attendance down under 5,000, which kicked in a release clause in the odd lease that allowed the team to move. And he moved them. You imagine it's like the movie Major League, only it's basketball instead of baseball. It's not a film, it was real life, and there was no happy ending here. So they're in LA, they're the Clippers now, and the Clippers are celebrating their past to the Buffalo Braves. But I wonder if those throwback uniforms still come with a knife in its back. Ooh.